Who's ready for a good old-fashioned round of what's missing? Close your eyes. For real. Close it. Okay, open them. Yeah, it's me. I was missing. Anyways, deep cut, but I just have this feeling that this would be a great song to learn today. Missing by Chris Cornell. Let's do it. Hey Cliff, while we're young, <laughs> it is my bold claim that this song is in drop F and there is no bass in this song. Now, drop F is crazy. We can't, you'd have to retrofit really big strings and no one's gonna do it. So we're gonna go to C standard and we can get everything done. I've got my tuner for cheating here. I don't, I can't even make sense of this tuning. It's your E strings going down to C. Your A string is going down to F. Each string is going down four notes. Your D string is going down to whatever note, <laughs> four notes lower than D is. A sharp. Your G string is going down to D sharp. Your B string is going all the way down to G. And your E string is going all the way down to C. And now we are in C standard tuning. All the shapes are gonna be the same, but when we do this, it's not really a D anymore, it's something else. So we, we're just gonna call it like what it normally would be. Okay. And we're starting out with a thing that we think is a bass line, but I don't think it's a bass line because the lowest note that this instrument plays in the whole song is the F note. I think it's a guitar with, again, a really low F string on it, but we're gonna do it on our F string. So it's gonna be an octave higher than what you hear, but it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna start on the fifth fret of the, I'm gonna call it the A string now, right? So five, 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 seven, five, 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 seven, that's that low F we're talking about. Followed by five, 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 seven, ten. One more time. Five, seven, just plucking away. Five, seven, oh, five, seven, ten. For your bass intro. Then the guitars come in, but that's, I think, another guitar that's tuned the exact same, doing something very similar, and that's not unexpected seasons from the same era was a triple tracked acoustic guitar. So what's gonna happen, this is kinda like smoke on the water, forgive me, but we're gonna have the A and D strings and we're gonna have them open up to two, if you use one finger, and five. It's gonna be the same kind of thing. Open, two, open, two, open, two, five. And you do that a bunch of times until we hit an F power chord. Of course, not really an F because of our tuning, but that's where we think of it. And then up to C on the A string. Third fret. And we're gonna call that the verse. And also in that verse, just for fun, we hear gratuitous bending of the G string fourth fret. So do that as much as you like. At one minute and 11 seconds, I'm calling this the pre-chorus and this is really fun. Grab the E string, seventh fret, and the A string, sixth fret. Give that two note chord a little strum. Then you pluck them. Down to four, four. And then the A string's going up to six, leaving you with a power chord. Do it again. Time's gonna be different. Back up to the seventh fret, the plucks, to four four, to three five, and then we're gonna switch from seven six to eight seven, and we're gonna go from here down to that G power chord. And one more time. And that's the pre chorus. The chorus, just like the verse, starts off with the zero zero on the A D strings up to two, and up to five, but I hear a third in this chord now, so I'm gonna do A5, D5, G4. Twice. Then, I do hear a whole B chord, so do the whole B chord if you dare, or just do the power chord if you prefer. B, G power chord, F, and then four measures, of C. This is when he's missing, missing. I've lost count. Two, three, four. But hopefully that was four measures, and that's the chorus. Do you want to do the noodles? They happen over this part. 
grab the D string 9th fret, the G string 8th fret, and the B string 10th fret, and oh my gosh, that's Tremor Christ. <laughs> that's the first one. The second one's going to be D6, G8, and bending B7. And that's the first set of noodles. Towards the end of that section, you're still, the first one never changes, the Tremor Christ one. But the second one, the last time, turns into D5, G7, B7. And then the B string slides up to 10. And back down to 7. And those are the noodles. And our last piece of business is the outro. Now, this is clearly some harmonic -y, loose, stringy <laughs> things, and I really don't know what to make of it. So I'm going to play the chords that go along. It's just going to be, I think it sounds really nice in this tuning. It's going to be G, C, G, C, G, C, G, over and over again. G, C, G, C, G, C, G. That's the way I'm going to do the outro anyways. And those are all the pieces, which means it's time for me to tell you to go use your earballs and figure out which one goes where when. Thank you for joining me for this Chris Cornell deep cut. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.